Mummy. With all those bandages, this one definitely has some tie-up potential. I'm gonna dig through this whole gosh darn pile of embalmed toilet paper wrapped human corpses until I find Cleopatra's historically infamous ass that destroyed nations. Smash. Hey, stop! I, uh, why? I just don't get it. I always catch you f watching this sick shit. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is a pass for me, but I do the bride of Frankenstein. You can murder people to mix and match their parts like Mr. Potato Head. The only limit is your imagination and possibly necrophilia. Werewolf. I don't know how many times I need to tell you guys that I'm not a furry. Pass. While I do intend to one day create a human-animal hybrid, I want to do it with science and not my dick. Zombies. Look at her. She's already fallen apart just standing there. If I try to do literally anything, pieces of her will just start sloughing off onto the floor. Pass. Dracula. Now I know Dracula can give the good suck. No one's questioning that. But this monster definitely uses its teeth. Pass. Dude, you're like one of the oldest monsters and still haven't learned this yet. And you still don't know why they don't call you back? It's because they're dead. Because you sucked all the blood out of their penis. Headless Horseman. No head, but he definitely has a neck hole. I've never gotten a neck job. I'd imagine it's like sticking it in the hole that that lady whose name is Shelly and used to be a smoker. Smash. Demon. For me, it depends what kind of demon. Am I getting a soul job from a succubus or am I getting crushed under Beelzebub's morbidly obese ass? Pass. I can never get that image out of my head. That's too much of a gamble. The creature from the Black Lagoon. This thing is the slipperiest and slimiest one in the whole list. That's nature's lubrication. Smash. That person your parents warned you about putting razor blade laced poison in your candy. Smash. I'm a sucker for a dark sense of humor. Gray alien. I'm into a lot of weird stuff, but not getting probed. And also, because it's for science, it'd be so strangely professional and methodical that I'd feel like I'm screwing Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Smash. Bazinga. Pumpkin with a hole drilled in it. What happened to this pumpkin? Well, you said you weren't sure if we were gonna use it, and so I did. Spooky scary skeletons. Skeletons have no ass, and every point of entry would be dry and with a lot of friction. Pass. Honestly, there's not much difference between screwing this and dragging your genitals on the concrete like a dog's ass on the carpet. The Abominable Snowman. This entire thing is made from snow and ice. There's no way my little eyeball will be standing at full attention in that weather. Not only that, but if there's one thing I learned from my traumatizing experience with Trojan Fire and Ice Condoms, it is to never buy them again. Pass. F you Trojan, why did you make that? It feels like f sock filled with icy hot. The Grim Reaper. Skeletons, again, don't sound like a pleasurable experience. Also, since you die if this thing touches you, a handy would be the ultimate boner killer. Pass. Unless it's the Jamaican one from Billy and Mandy, then I gotta think a bit more. Scarecrow. Okay, so as is, I'm really not trying to stick my needle in that haystack. There's definitely some creepy crawlies that I don't want in my piss hole. If you were to cut it open, however, and fill it with microwave spaghetti, that's a different story. Smash. Side note, have you ever thought if somebody put like one end of the pasta in their pee hole and the other in their mouth and then they did like a lady in the, the tramp thing? No? Okay, then me neither then. Alien. <laughs> no, 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 no. This thing has a trachea in its trachea that can extend and retract. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever gotten the Glizzy Guzzler 9000 from a throat inside of a throat? Wait, 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 wait. I think not. Smash. The Thing. Okay, so this is one of those creatures that could literally be anyone or anything you could possibly want. I want it to have like 37 thick asses. The only way this wouldn't be a smash is if you valued something stupid like personality or chemistry. Ha! Gay! Smash. Jason Voorhees. It depends at which stage we're talking about with Jason, because as the movies go on, he just gets like more decayed and waterlogged. A corpse that's been discovered in the reeds floating in the water full of gas and maggots is not a place you should put your folds and flaps. Pass. Freddy Krueger. A lot of you might think I'd pass on Freddy because of his torn up face and skin, but I'm not that shallow. It's not all about looks, guys. It's actually because his knife clubs would tear my c*** from my body and because the rest of them looks fucking disgusting too. Pass. The Fly. First off, Jeff Goldblum has always kind of looked like an old man in my head, and every time I watch The Fly, I'm just utterly in shock as to how f***ing ripped he was. 
But this isn't about uncomfortably ripped melty Jeff Goldblum, it's about the Brundlefly abomination that he turns into. No, I don't think I'll be having sex with that. Pass. Tusk. A walrus assembled out of a traumatized screaming man and a suit made from corpses. I know you're all sitting behind your screens waiting for me to say how I'd go full walrus on this thing's anus, and you should all be very ashamed of yourself. Pass. I will never recover. The toothy vag lady from Teeth. You might be thinking that the teeth are a deal breaker, but the thing is, she doesn't have to bite down. I've trusted plenty of people to allow it in their mouths. If the lady seemed normal and non-murderous, I'd also trust a downstairs mouth. Smash. The Little Doll from Saw. Despite the fact that my masochistic tendencies would pair quite well with this, it's a weird little doll on a tricycle. Also, he looks like he has clown makeup on. I learned from my time spent with the pussy that no matter how hard I try, clown porn is not my thing. Pass. The Nun. Michael Myers from Halloween. There's a time and a place for a deadpan performance, and it's great when delivered in things like comedy or a murderous rampage. Applying the same logic to sex sounds uncomfortable. I don't want you to just sit there stone-faced and make direct eye contact with me as your shitty theme music plays. For God's sake, man, say something! Pass. Predator. This thing's mouth anatomy could give the best slob gobbler knob groveler I've ever seen in my whole gosh darn life. Smash. The aliens from A Quiet Place. They got that foldy face. I bet its weird ear sockets are capable of giving one hell of a chold gulper with extra sauce. Okay, seriously, this is getting weird now. Why do so many horror movie aliens have such foldable faces? What do you mean I'm the weird one? They're putting- they're the weird ones! They made it! When I go on a date and she asks what I do, what the f do you t would you tell her? I don't know. The only thing I can do is send the siren head video and hope she doesn't find the ones about me satirically f***ing all of these monsters. You think I'd keep doing this if it wasn't insanely popular? Leatherface. I was gonna say pass to this one, but this mofo's got a silver tongue. I mean, how are you supposed to say no when this Casanova hits you with <gasps> Smash. You never had a chance. Cenobites from Hellraiser. The Wire Twins. Those two uncanny valley horrifically distorted yet somehow also sexualized Cenobites are literally made for f***ing the denizens of hell. They massage your muscles under the skin and have elongated tongues for exactly what you think they're for. Smash, obviously. Chucky. Considering how poorly everyone reacted when Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, created a short film where he pretended to f*** a baby doll and everything else that's wrong with this whole scenario, and the fact that Chucky would constantly be trying to stab at me. Pass. The tire from rubber. I've never gotten a tread job, but if it's anything like that time I got my d run over by a flatbed, pass. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. What do you think? Nice. But wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's. Oh my god. Sasquatch. Don't get me wrong, I don't really mind a little bit of hair. This isn't a little bit of hair though. It's an entire forest of sh caked bug infested fur. Pass. I'm not a furry, nor even sure if I could find the hole. The Jersey Devil. I'm not one to make fun of someone for having a weird body, but look at this gangly mother Its proportions don't even make sense. There are some cryptids that I think could exist, and this idiot is not one of them. Pass. How can I f something I don't even believe in? Loch Ness Monster. So this thing is basically just a trapped plesiosaur. I'm telling you, man, with a throat like that, Nessie could give one hell of a pecker inspector using only her necker. Smash. Chupacabra. Fun fact, the English to Spanish translation for chupacabra means goat sucker. Some might think its name comes from how it sucks the blood out of goats and stuff, but it's actually because I'm the fuck goat and you can fill in the rest. Smash. Mothman. I wonder what moth genitalia looks like. Oh! No, 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 f*** it ass, f*** claws. <laughs> 
pass. Mongolian death worm. Now the Mongolian death worm has acidic spit, but if you were to drain all that out and only have the electric shock part, it's like a taser and a fleshlight all at the same time. Smash. Yeti. The Yeti would have the same too much hair problem as Bigfoot for me. Not only that, I'd have to be up in the mountains so my fingers would be so small and that'd be embarrassing. I um, pass. I have a huge p and will murder anyone that claims otherwise. Sea ape slash mermaids. For the sea ape, it's a definite pass because it's literally just a dead monkey sewn to a dead fish. For the mermaid, it depends. Is it top half lady and bottom half fish? And if so, what kind of hardware do we have downstairs? Or is it human legs and fish body? Or maybe it's the mermaids that destroyed Animal Planet's reputation. Smash, I don't have time for this, I just want to get my d licked. Flatwoods Monster. Some sort of reptilian alien in a big metal suit? I'm just saying, under that titanium dress is definitely a dummy thick ass. They don't build it that wide for no reason, and I see no reason better than a huge butt. Smash. Dover Demon. Okay, so this thing is basically just a stereotypical gray alien. This thing isn't really displayed with a mouth, and all of the literature I can find of the Dover Demon suspiciously doesn't have any information as to whether or not it has an anus. Pass, too much guesswork. Skunk Ape. The human actually went on an expedition to a scam shack in the swamp to try to find this thing. I don't think he specified if he was there to f it though. He didn't specify that he wasn't there to f it though. Pass, the alligator nuggets were good, but I'm not going back to the swamps. Loveland Frog. A large pseudo humanoid frog from Loveland, Ohio. This thing is definitely slippery and slimy. I'ma get in there and fertilize me some weird squishy eggs. Smash. <laughs> What is it? What is, what is, what's even this sh anymore? Sea serpents. Long, slippery, and basically a living fleshlight. The only thing that makes me question is the salt water. You ever get that in a cut? Imagine that in your d hole. Smash. I've stuck my d worse. Skinwalker. Now, since this creature can only really shape shift into animals, that's a definite pass from me. You could ask her to stay a human, but if they're corrupt enough to become a skinwalker, then they definitely have some sort of weird thing for being eaten out as a raccoon, and I'm not about it. Pass. The Wendigo, described as completely emaciated and corrupt beyond belief, shown by their endless hunger for human flesh. I'm not gonna say, like, that's my type, but I'm not gonna say, like, that it's far off from my type. Smash. Looking good. Almost done. And there. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. I had to Google sexualized Sasquatch art and Rule 34 cryptids because of you first. Sometimes I like to work in a coffee shop in between my classes. Sometimes the people in the coffee shop like to enjoy their coffee without someone putting a dump truck thick moth woman on full screen right in front of them. Needless to say, only one of us got what they wanted that day. Jeff the Killer. I don't bend that way, but even if I did, lips really do matter in terms of sloppy toppy. Realistically, how the f does this killer even keep saliva in their mouth? Pass. Why did you leave me? Jane the Killer, however, holy sh**. Smash, 100%. If I could find this person, minus the would stab me in my face in my sleep part of it, I would propose marriage. Honestly, as long as the stabbing isn't directly at me, we could still get past it. Subjects from the Russian sleep experiment. So they have no lips. So like Jeff the Killer, that's a big L. Plus all of their fingertips are bone and they're all covered in their own feces from smearing book pages on the windows. A skeletal scat job sounds like something that would traumatize the Zodiac Killer. Pass. Ben Drowned. I might be an unknowable Lovecraftian horror, but why in God's name would you ask if I would smash a fucking drowned kid? You're fucking disturbed. Pass, please get therapy. Sonic.exe. I don't know what it is with the internet and weird Sonic fan fictions and the OCs and all the horrible things that they do to each other's bits. Look, we all know what happened with Chris Chan. Playing Sonic games is a slippery slope. This isn't just a creepypasta anymore. I think these games might actually be cursed. Pass. Smile dog. I don't know why so many of these horror stories involve animals. Didn't they know that more than a decade later, a random eyeball monstrosity would come by and play would I stick my dick in it? For the millionth time, I'm not sticking it in an animal. I might be an unknowable abomination, but I have my limits. I'm not fucking Markiplier. Pass. Eyeless Jack. 
Now, seeing as how those eyes are seemingly just empty sockets filled with slippery black goo, I know exactly where to stick it. Smash. The rake. The teeth and the claws, I feel like having this near your genitals in any way is basically synonymous with getting oral from a paper shredder. Pass. Slenderman. I don't care if I get canceled, I'm gonna say it. Slenderman has no ass. I would say pass, but honestly, I'd have to swallow my pride if Slenderman also wanted to swallow it because I need clout. Smash. Squidward Suicide. I think the human grew up watching this cartoon. On one hand, the chance to literally bone a corrupted version of the human's childhood. On the other hand, f***ing a dead squid. Wait, those are both wins. Smash. Hero Brine. I honestly can't imagine what a pixelated orifice feels like, but in my mind it would feel unbearably sharp. Like a sock filled with shattered glass, or an inside out sea urchin, or one of those banana slicers. Catastrophe Crow. So I'm not sure which thing exactly I'm expected to smash. Is it the designer of the game? Or the game itself? That weird crow inside of it? Pass because this was too confusing of an option, and two out of the three options are either dick electrocution or fucking a crow to death. Candle Cove. I assume the sex would be with the weird marionettes. If I wanted to fuck a husk that has a pair of human skin wrapped around it, I'd order a custom Ed Gein made sex doll or try to go to a pre-organized corporate speed dating event. Pass. Mr. Bear from 1999. I wouldn't smash this horrifying fucker in the sense of a smasher pass, but I would like to smash his face into a waffle iron. I don't like this guy. I'm gonna add a third option, that of murder. The option to put these fuckers through a wood chipper. No end house. A lot of people would ask how it's possible to coitus a cursed house. The answer is similar to how you would fuck anything else, find a hole. Although when it comes to a house, especially an old cursed one, the risk of death splinters is quite high. I gotta stop seeing out. No pain, no gain. Smash because death splinters. The expressionless. The expressionless is just a living mannequin with super sharp teeth. While dome isn't an option, this is way better than f***ing a non-living mannequin by creating an asshole with a drill. Smash. The person with no senses from the gateway of the mind. See, the thing is, if you have no taste, smell, hearing, sight, or touch, how the actual f*** are you supposed to communicate consent? If there's one thing you learn from college orientation, or just, you know, not being a horrible person, it's that if someone has no access to any of their senses, by no means should you try to stick anything inside of them. Pass. Goat person. Are we talking bottom half goat and top half girl or top half goat and bottom half girl? Either way, I'm a human animal hybrid half full kind of guy. Smash. How do you feel? Like a whale man. Banshee. The saying scream like a banshee comes from the myth that if you hear a banshee's horrific screech, someone in your family is gonna die soon. I'ma be real. After this, all my neighbor's families are gonna die soon. Smash. Sea Serpent. All we gotta do is take out the teeth and drain the seawater and then this thing is basically just one giant wiggly fleshlight. Smash. Minotaur. A creature with the body of a human and the head of a bull. Honestly, as long as the body is normal and I don't have to French kiss with a cow tongue down my throat, consider it a smash. Phoenix. I won't be putting my member anywhere near a bird that catches fire. Third degree burns all over my third leg sounds like a fate worse than death. Pass. Griffin. Half eagle, half lion. As a not furry, I wouldn't do any of these things separately, so I'm not gonna do it if you stick them together. Pass. The Kraken. Initially, some of you might think that it's a smash because all those slippery tentacles. However, this creature has a beak chomping anything that comes close to its mouth hole. For the sake of avoiding crotch amputation, uh, it's gonna have to be a pass. The app. I. Give me a second. F How the fuck do I say this? What? I tried, okay? I, I tried. The name is this. A race of horrific human-scorpion hybrids. Some say they look like this, but this decrepit evil blobfish version is much funnier. So that's the one that I'm telling you that it is. Also, either way, it's fucking disgusting. Pass. Camazots. An anthropomorphic bat creature. I know what you're thinking, but this thing isn't based off the vampire bat, so it may not have its trademark legendary suck. However, at this point in my career, vaguely anthropomorphic Anthropomorphic is a selling point. Smash. Dokolosh. A little gremlin guy with a hole in its head and no eyes that everyone blames for their problems and mistakes. Honey, 
I'm pregnant. Tokolosh. What do you mean? How dare you cheat on me? Smash. Hecatonkeries. A giant with a hundred arms and fifty heads. Even if you don't go all the way, all those mouths and fingers, it's bound to be otherworldly. I wonder how many genitals it has. Smash. Slipnir. Basically an eight-legged horse. The fact that this has eight legs doesn't change the fact that I don't want to butt f a horse. Pass. Yaramayahu, a little Australian red vampire guy that sucks all the blood out of people using their little slurpy fingers. I just said little slurpy fingers, and there's still any question as to whether or not I would? Smash. Eshirim Yokai. No cap, this one translates from Japanese as butt eye strange apparition. It's like staring into a smelly mirror. If you wouldn't screw yourself, you got some serious work to do. Smash. The Boogeyman, a purposefully nondescript monster that steals nasty children from their home. Apparently, it can take any shape it wants. Shapeshifters are an auto smash because they can transform into anyone or anything you could possibly want. Top half three boobed alien lady, bottom half Cardi B. Ready, go! Abaraman, a weird reversed leg person that can apparently run at superhuman speeds. So it's a regular human with its butt on backwards. Compared to the rest of the list, she's a supermodel. Smash. The nurses from the Silent Hill series. Okay, so the face is absolutely horrifying, but the rest of it is on par for some of the hottest people I've ever been with in my life. Smash. Lady... Lady D from Resident Evil. Call me the entire internet when this game came out because I'm absolutely simping over this van pussy. Smash. Those weird potato guys from Amnesia. Oh, I guess they're called the Gatherers. Well, since their mouths are sliced open beyond belief, there's no way this thing can offer any suction. The rest of the body is also a nightmare patchwork of what looks like dead bodies. There's no way any of those holes are tight. Pass. The animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I'm lumping them all together, F you. I'm not a furry and I certainly don't want no dead kid animatronic robussy. Pass. I'm not sticking my dick anywhere near a Chuck E. Cheese knockoff filled with rotten pepperoni and kid organs. Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. There's no mouth to speak of, only the stabby points of the pyramid. If my only option is getting poked in the dong by one of five spikes, it's a pass. Alice from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Smash, it's basically Betty Boop ex a demon angel. This is one of the rare times I say smash enthusiastically. It's almost like horror game creators don't make their monsters with ability in mind. The Fungus Family from Resident Evil 7. Not only would screwing an entire family be really weird, I'm also pretty sure that yeast is a fungus, and I'm not trying to get a yeast infection, cause I heard someone say the only way she can describe it is cactus in pee hole. Pass. The weird abominations from Scorn. Now this game hasn't really been released at the time of the video, I'm just really hyped for it, so I'm gonna agree to f something without knowing anything about it. Necromorphs from Dead Space. These things are basically alien parasite zombies if I'm to understand correctly. Nothing about dead decaying humans filled with some sort of reanimation disease sounds appealing. Pass. The next bots that are chasing everybody around in Gmod. This one is kind of like a flat PNG animated at a fast speed. Pass. Calm down, son, it's just a drawing. <laughs> Val from Outlast 2. No empathy and always completely naked and covered in mud. I mean, she's in great shape, though. Smash, it's what I f them, not do I consider them a good person. Chris Walker from Outlast. Look, this guy basically boils down to a murderous, morbidly obese ex offensive lineman. That combination doesn't seem like it'd be too fun for me. I don't think I could do it with <clears throat> staring back at me either. Pass. The special zombies from Left 4 Dead 2. It depends on which one of them. I'm gonna be real honest though, the only one that gets a smash is the witch. Petite, pretty, unpredictable, and either constantly sobbing or in a state of other mania. Close behind is the spitter, but because spitters are quitters, I'm gonna pass. Dr. Richard Traeger from Outlast. The entire surface of this man's skin looks like shrink wrap fried chicken. Judging from how mangled the face and skin is, nothing in the downstairs looked like it'd be especially appealing. Pass. Giant. So, basically just a giant human. I've been inside of someone, but I've never been like inside of someone inside of someone like in a literal sense i'll try anything once smash excuse me sir i'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your back we can't have this sort of smut being shown online
This is a damn ugly world we live in. Medusa, how well does she control those snakes? Because I could imagine her head feeling crazy if they got involved. But if they're basically just feral snakes stapled to her head, getting involved means biting my ball back. Uh. They're pretty close to her brain, and I mean, I'm already stoned. Smash. Hydra, cut off one head and two grow in its place. I'll just keep a big axe on me to slice off the new heads and exponentially increase the total amount of probable knob gobbling while I'm already getting knob gobbled. Smash. Ogre. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. I'm about to peel away his layers like an onion. Smash right in those long ogre ears. What the hell even do I fucking make anymore? Leprechaun. Kiss me. I'm Irish. I'll follow the rainbow down to your pot of gold, baby. Maybe I shouldn't have made my pickup lines borderline offensive. Well, pass to you too, green ginger midget troll. Are we talking about the pay the toll, solve my riddles under a bridge style troll? Or is it that fat guy on Xbox Live that lowered my self-esteem with his mean words? Smash. Either way, after what he said to me, I don't deserve standards. Imp. It really depends on the specific imp for me. For context, I'm gonna put two Google image search results for the word imp right next to each other. You see what I mean? You, you see what I gotta deal with here? Pass. This is a toss up. Dragon. Not a furry nor a scaly, but also anyone who wants to f dragons probably has a pretty hard time finding a living, breathing, warm body to sleep with them. So I can't go stealing their screen printed scaly pillow girlfriend? Pass. I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Unicorn. I could see someone falling in love with this magical spiky horse if they have a thing for shoving heated metal rods up their urethra, but fortunately that someone is not me. Pass. Chimera. A fire breathing abomination with the body and head of a lion, another head of a goat, the udders of a goat, and a beefy ass danger noodle for the tail. You all almost had me with the wide selection and diversity of options, but I don't want to stick any part of my body near something labeled fire breathing. Pass. Centaur. If I have to stick it in the horse butt, it's a pass. But if I can throw a blanket over the weird horsey giblets and then just deal with the woman connected to it at the hips, then it's a smash. Gnome. Are you kidding? This one can give top standing up. Smash. Fairy. So is this like a human sized fairy or one of those weird little dragonfly sized fairies? Since I don't want one of these things inside of me, I'm just going to assume it's the human sized one. Smash, it's a girl with bug wings. Jobs in 1920. I fought in the Great War! Jobs now. I pretend to f monsters to get strangers to watch an advertisement? Hey, you see what I did to all these creatures that you fear so much that you dedicated an entire day to scaring each other while you pretend to be them? Yeah, they look pretty scary, right? It was my treat to make them turn a trick. What do you think I'd do to a human that didn't like? Comment and subscribe with all notifications enabled. I wouldn't want to find out. Also, go watch my other videos or I'll smack you with a big stick. Hey, shout out to the inner circle. Love y'all. Okay, bye. It's been quite a while since we began. I don't know what happened. All I remember was taking 16 dabs of acid and the show just kind of went downhill from there. That's just some good shit. That's just some good shit.